Hey, good morning, everybody. Sarasota Tim coming to you from the home base, leaving the home base, heading to the uh, the mailbox first. Uh, they do open at 8, and I had a couple of comments that uh, people didn't um, see their package or their card in the video. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I take care of my community. I love you guys. I got your back. Uh, I was notified that One's a little concerning. I'm going to find out this morning. Uh, this person was notified that their package had arrived Saturday. Now, the UPS store where I have my mailbox closes at 3 o'clock on Saturdays, or they did last Saturday. So maybe, I don't know if, if FedEx or UPS can actually get in their store when they're closed or or what the deal is, or they just misplaced it and didn't hand it to me. I had a hell of a haul, as you guys saw. So I'm over there, I'm going there right now. It's right down the street here. And I'm gonna to get to the bottom of it. And uh, someone else is, uh, is probably going to arrive today, even maybe even later today when the mail comes, uh, that that one wasn't actually expected to be there. I'm waiting for my heater to kick on on automatic because it's, 55 degrees. It was 50 this morning. That has got to be the coldest it's been all year. I think I felt colder than that a day or two while in Georgia in October, but it wasn't but a day or two. And let me tell you, what a rude awakening. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> How do people deal with, you know, cold weather? I mean, you got to get used to it. I understand that. You got to get used to it. And I'm not used to it. I've been living on the surface of the sun for many years. And anything below 60, you know, even 60 is, is chilly. Floridians are very cold-blooded. So uh, it's going to warm up nicely today. Beautiful blue skies. Great day in South Florida. I, do, I don't want to complain because I would rather have 50, it's 55 now, than... 90, 96 with 106 heat index. Believe me, that's miserable. So this is the time of year, you know, we do look forward to it. Darn it, I forgot to do my blood pressure and I forgot to take my baby aspirin. The doctor wanted me for the uh, cholesterol to take a baby aspirin every day. And I'll tell you, I bet I've only done it twice. I keep forgetting. And the blood pressure I'm not taking because I have been doing my blood pressure but it's normal every day and i wouldn't expect anything different this morning but i want to keep checking it until i go back and uh get my blood work uh read from him and then he was going to do this little spot on my back with the uh dermatology so here we go in the uh, underground parking at the uh, ups store here on woolbright road all right everyone this is what i got right here just one package this morning that did come in that uh uh, yesterday afternoon, maybe late or something. And I'll find out. I don't know if there's a, re a return name on here. Uh, you know, and there is a return name, but it's probably on the inside of this package. So I'll have to check for you. And uh, we'll find out who, is, who it was. And if, if it's not the one that I'm, I'm looking for, uh, for this nice lady, uh, I hope it is. Let's find out. So without further ado, we'll just... We'll just check it out right now. It says mind reader on here. Um, generally there's a, a return name. I don't see it. Come out of there. All right, ta-da! Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It is a mind reader. And I suppose your, your cure eggs or something go in there, right? You see that? Little pods. It goes down flat. Ta-da! Well, you lay it down flat, and 
I suppose it's a bunch of, because uh, it has these little feet that are rubbery right here. And uh, you just slide open your drawer and you got all kinds of them. Well, that'll hold some more, won't it? All right. And I don't see anything in the box of who it's from. So you will definitely have to email me at sarasotatim at mail.com and, and, and tell me, is this you? Uh, it's, uh, you know, I can get first names. There's a Miss Darlene that has been, you know, trying to get her gift to me. And I want it. And I don't see anything in here. But I believe this is not... I think somebody else told me about something. Uh, but this could be. Is this it, Miss Darlene? Let me know. And then I, I did tell uh, the lady at the UPS store in there that I'll be back later today uh, to check on more uh, packages. And in fact, I know uh, someone said that their card or whatever is coming today. So, yeah, I'll be checking. I'll be checking. We're going to get everything that's supposed to come. Not going to be delaying. I'm not going to be showing up, you know, every week. I'll be going there every day. So, I wanted to talk to you guys this morning before I go to the gym about some things that we've talked about before. And I want to kind of remind us because... We all need reminding. That's what affirmations are. That's what, that's what is good. I mean, the media wants to remind you every single minute about negativity and um, terrible things. I mean, this morning, I missed my local news because uh, it, at a relatively early hour, it switches over to that one of those alphabet news channels that uh, go into all the other national negative stuff murders and all these kind of stuff and uh they just love reaffirming and talking about negativity whether it be political or otherwise it's kind of the same uh you know things like i say they, they just constantly negative 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 and negativity can totally affect you we said it before if you hang out in an outhouse long enough you're going to come out stinking if you are around negative people, you need to maybe, you know, consider getting yourself a new environment, maybe meeting some new friends. Uh, people are very influential. And what happens is it wears on you. It taxes on you. You know, you get used, it becomes habitual. You get used to listening, hearing, talking, doing certain things, and they become, they become you. So what, do you, what should you do? Well, I would say that instead of waiting till January 1st for the big resolution time, is to begin today, like we've talked about before. Today, wake up, decide. Today is not the day I'm going to make like yesterday. Today, I'm turning a new leaf. Today, I want to experience, I want to try and see what it's like to smile all day. I want to try and see what it's like, just like that, video I watched with this guy trying not to use his phone one day and use his Apple watch instead of a phone. And he discovered that we're probably not to that point yet. But make it today a day that you you go out there and you smile. I was just in the UPS store. I didn't want to record in there, but let me just tell you, because I do what I say and I say what I do. There was a lady in there and she was in front of me, a young gal. And a gentleman with his dog, a tall gentleman, and uh, and the lady that works there. The other guys hadn't come in yet, and we we're standing there. And like most people will do, <clears throat> not say a word. They'll just stand there, and you know, afraid to to talk to him. One, the young lady was looking at her phone. <coughs> I got it. The one lady was looking at her phone. The young girl, and she was very attractive, and. Uh, the guy was just standing there with his dog. Nobody said anything about his dog. Uh, nobody was talking to each other about the weather. So what does Sarasota Tim do? Right away, I noticed the young lady was wearing Uggs. You know what Uggs are? Okay, 
most the traditional UGG is like a little boot about ankle high. They make them up real high. She had on a clog UGG, and they looked brand new. And they had this little um, hem around where your foot goes in that was sort of a like an Indian blanket, like a different, you know, uh, color and stuff. Very, very stylish. And I said, oh, I like your Uggs. I said, I used to live in San Diego. Everybody out there wears Uggs. She goes, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And then right away, the gentleman, uh, he was in front of her, you know, waiting for the uh, lady to get his packages. And he says, yeah, I'm from Chicago. And it's, this is, uh, this is mild down here. Everybody's down here wearing jackets. This is great. And then she says, I'm from Pennsylvania. We all wear Uggs there too, because it's cold weather. And, and so now all three of us have engaged by one compliment, by one word. Now, instead of being boring, sitting there waiting in line, staring at the ceiling and her texting and him just waiting for his packages, we are now engaging in conversation, beginning our day, exchanging with strangers. And, you know, she got a compliment. He got to talk about where he's from, and she t talked about where she's from. I talked about where I used to live. A lot of information was shared there, and you never know. You might have been uh, somebody who said, oh, I'm from Pennsylvania, too, or I used to live in Chicago, or I lived in California. You just don't know if you don't talk to people. So make it a day today that, and people love to talk. I mean, look at that. As soon as I said that, boom, everybody wants to talk. And when you pay a compliment, it makes people feel good. I know she feels good that her shoes look nice. And they did look nice. So make today a day to do that. Did you make your bed when your feet hit the ground? I didn't this morning. But about five minutes later, I did. <laughs> well, actually, about 30 minutes later, wasn't it? Because I made that video on the taste test of the uh, fruitcakes, which was, was a real pleasure to make because I, I really enjoyed those. I'm all hopped up now. <laughs> and uh, now I'm out and I'm going to the gym. I'm going to have self-esteem because I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to get that workout in. I didn't go yesterday. I was a little bit sore, actually, from the uh, couple of days prior where I really went at it pretty hard. Uh, lightweight, lots of reps. So I'm really, um, and I did some floor exercises. I know that my tummy is not flat. I know this and I don't like it. And so, you know, I'm doing something about it and I'm serious about it. First thing I'm going to do is eat fruit cake and then go to the gym. <laughs> you can't believe a damn thing I say. But anyway, I am. I'm going to do something about it and, uh, and I'm going to make it a goal to, uh, to lose about 10 or whatever I got to do. And, and, and get down there on that floor. I hate to do sit-ups. Who does? You know, I, I, mean, I want to do the arms and the traditional things that guys like to do. Girls got their thing they like to do. So we're going we're gonna to go to the gym, though, and we're going to have good self-esteem when I leave because I'm getting it done early. All right? And then, you know, I'm praying. I wake up. I'm thinking on the Lord, and I'm going to pray at the gym. I'm going to pray when I get through making this video. And I'm going to pray for those that a lot of people are kind of depressed, you know, this time of year uh, during the holiday giving time. And, you know, uh, maybe they're remembering loved ones that aren't there with them anymore and all kinds of things. We won't go into it all, but it can be joyful and it can also be uh, somewhat depressing to some people. So pray for the world. Pray for the people. Pray for people. Anyway, uh Get out there and, and take a walk this morning, okay? I know in the north it's probably teens and 20s and whatever. Maybe that's more of a reason to join a gym, like Planet Fitness is only $10 a month. Or if you're over 65, you can get silver sneakers and, and, um, and go in there where there's heat and get on the treadmill. you got to get some exercise. You got you, Listen to me. You have to have uh, your heart beat up. You have to have your muscles work. You, you, if you want to extend your life and there's no guarantee tomorrow, you really should uh, do what you can do. And that includes, of course, your diet and eating right. <clears throat> In fact, that's probably the mainest thing, uh, as my friend of mine used to say. But exercise is so important. And who am I talking to? Most of you out there probably exercise more than I do. So get your exercise. 
say your prayers, be kind, compliment, be nice, turn from those nasty ways that some people have. Learn to drive right. Try to be more respectful today and patient on the road with people. Let somebody see your kindness and say, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Stop for them. Let them out in traffic. Don't like, you're not getting in front of me. You know, don't be like some of these inconsiderate people are. You be different. You start a new trend. You, uh, you be the one. Don't be a pack rat. Just get down to what you need. Do I use you? I mean, seriously, do I use you? If not, get rid of it. What good is it doing to have anything in your possession that you haven't used or looked at in forever? What is it doing but taking up space and be something if you ever had to move, you'd have to either throw away then and be a chore. So if you work on a few things every day and get rid of a few things, put them out in the trash, take it to Goodwill, Salvation Army, whatever you have, we have a thing here called the uh, the um, the Restore. <clears throat> Take it there. We also have a place called Faith Farm. Take it there. Also, turn it into money. Maybe these things that you're not using are of some value. You're like, that's why I'm not throwing it away. It's got some value. But if you're not using it, put it on Craigslist or um, Facebook Marketplace. Guess what I sold yesterday for $15? A bicycle pump. You know how long I had it? Forever. It was a bell. It still had the tag on it. It was brand new. It had the little ball needle thing you can put on it as the attachment to blow up uh, basketballs, footballs, soccer ball, any ball. And then it was a bicycle pump. And it worked really well. I bought it for a couple of bikes that I bought when I lived in Sarasota. And it was sitting in one of my totes. Yesterday, I'm doing what I preach, folks. I took out all my totes that are behind my camper and I opened them up and I I took uh, everything, everything. I went through it and took everything that was uh, uh, could be sold and I took pictures of it and I put it on Facebook Market. And then I um, <clears throat> got a big, I found these garbage bags that I bought when I moved uh, that are you know, those big lawn bags, those really expensive ones, heavy duty jobs. I took one of those out. I have a roll of them. And I mean, they're huge. And I put in stuff that I'm not using. So anyway, I did all that and I purged and I cleaned. And then I went and washed my truck. Does your car need washing? Do you Have you washed in a while? I see people running around with some cars that look like they've never washed the rims on them. <laughs> I mean, get some stuff done. Do something for yourself. And maybe today's the day. I know I went a little long on that. Uh, you know, I'm all hopped up. Maybe today's the day, folks, that you are going to decide that, you know what, this alcohol really isn't doing anything for me. Well, it might do something for you. <laughs> Make you who you want to be, but you're afraid to be. Uh, this altered person to escape your troubles and whatever. Um, maybe try to lay it down. Maybe try to cut it back. Maybe try to cut it back a few days of the week. Maybe try to start a little later in the day. Maybe just try to quit. You know, I don't know. But I would encourage you, if you're not a very, very social drinker that enjoys a glass of wine or or a cocktail every ca occasionally, you know, the, uh, the eggnog with the rum and the holidays. If you're not that kind of person and you're just... <clears throat> inebriated because you drink so much you get drunk that's the other word for it maybe you don't need it and cigarettes come on it's kind of uncool to smoke now you don't really see too many people smoking most people probably in this inflationary time can't afford it <laughs> so quit smoking and quit drinking and something that you can easily do that isn't gonna like make you like oh i need a cigarette or oh i need a drink you can certainly stop cussing. And I know, I cuss. I got I got Tourette's or something. I drop something on the floor and I lose it. I'm working on it though, I'm getting a lot better. But, and sometimes, you know, habitually, you're used to using the way you talk and articulate. Uh, and some people are just, hurts my ears. They are vulgar. I mean, wow. 
I mean, that's just, you can articulate the English language. Well, this place is packed uh, with, um, with, the, with the right words. There's that tree with the birds like to poop on you. He's going to get it. I'm not going to fall for that trick. No way. I'll park next to this Tundra. There's another Tundra. The 2024 new body style. Yep. He's got his mirrors folded in, too. He's got those electric ones, no doubt. I never had that. I always wished I had that. I could just get out and push mine in. But, um, oh, gosh, the sun is on me now. Let me see here. You're not being able to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video because you got a shadow here. But, folks, uh, you don't have to wait till January 1st. You want to lose weight, quit all those things we just talked about. Being kind and loving, I can tell you right now it works and prayer works because in my life, and it bothers a lot of people, uh, you know, we've talked about it of, you know, being a YouTuber and how some people just can't stand your success or, you know, whatever, you know, you talk about and, you know, they don't like the way you parted your hair, your philosophies, whatever. That's, that's not my problem. That's their problem. So anyway, you can do better than you're doing. Make your weakest link your strongest link. And then you got a new weaker link. And I know a lot of you have told me that I have and to think about and, and start doing. Uh, and of course, we always have talked about the collecting Social Security at 62. And we talk about, you know, about insurance and health insurance. And we've talked about the Medicare plans and what I did and and everything and of course everything that I say I'm just some guy on YouTube everybody that's a mature adult you know if you don't agree with that then you simply get more information uh, from others or online or uh, directly from the company and you know you do your due diligence and you make your own decision but maybe a lot of people haven't thought of you know or looked at it from that angle or why this should be that or Maybe I should do it that way and all these kinds of things. So that's what I just try to bring to the uh, to the channel. And I just want to say before I go in and, and work out that uh, it's, a, it's a great day to be alive. And every single day is that you don't do any of the things we just talked about and more is a day you can never get back. I mean, and if you're in a dead end job, maybe you've been really in a uh, you know, uh, a relationship that's just, you know, going nowhere. And you know, it's just hell. <clears throat> or like I said, that job, look for a new one. You, um, you, you're, you're drinking and you think about it every day and you just can't, you know, you just can't decide, I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow, 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 tomorrow may never come. You know, begin now. Take the fortitude. Be the person of character that can actually say, you know what? I'm not going to talk about it any further. I'm not going to start that. We had an old saying back in the car business that we'd go to these motivational uh, sales training classes that we would take and somebody would walk out. I think Zig Ziglar, or Dale Carnegie said this, that, you know, you hear all these, inf you hear everything like I just said, or you read a book on motivation and you get done and you say, you know what? I'm going to start that tomorrow. That means they're never going to start. Start now. Start today. When this video is over, say, that's it. Take those cigarettes, throw them out the window. Pour your booze down the sink. So what that you're throwing away the money? I'd rather do that than tear up my gizzards and my liver. And for God's sakes, say a prayer. If you need help with these things or you're going through, and everybody is, there's more, there's more things that people are going through right now than, you know, the list is a mile long and we don't need to go over them, but we just know there's a need. There is a need that you don't know how to solve or you're worrying about it. It's stressing you. You're crying about it. You're worried about it so much that, you know, it's robbing you of joy. You're consumed with it all day long. Just, just turn it over to God. He says, my burden is light. My yoke is easy. I forget the exact uh, scripture, but you know which one. So lean on the Father. Lean, lean on Him. 
That's what he wants. That's what he does. But he doesn't do it unless you ask. You get not because you ask not. You're not happy because you're not choosing to be happy. You're not kind because you're not acting kind. You're ganging extra weight because you're doing the wrong things. You're reaping what you sow. You hang out in an outhouse long enough, you're going to come out stinking. Choose not to stink. Choose to crush it.